Hello, my name is Chris Fowler, and today I'd like to speak with you about the P Bugle, which is our latest product at Warwick Music. Now, P Bugle is essentially a plastic B flat trumpet without valves. Why? Well, we wanted to make a product that was very cost effective, very easy to buy from a price point of view. It's very light, it's very tough, and it allows beginners to focus on the uh, really core elements of being a brass player, which are, as we know, breathing in, blowing out, vibrating or buzzing your lips, and maybe articulating, and learning skills about changing harmonics or partials on, the brass, on a brass instrument. So that's the basic thinking behind P Bugle. It's about accessibility, it's about getting more children involved in playing trumpet in an easy way. Now, the bugle around the world has many different shapes and forms in many different keys. Uh, in the UK, the bugle is a conical bow instrument classically, um, the kind of bugle you'll see the Marines using or the Army using at Remembrance Sunday. So that bugle lives kind of in the cornet family. This is very fairly and squarely a parallel bore instrument, a trumpet without valves. So I guess the nearest cousin in military music in the UK would be uh, the cavalry trumpet, which, which you do see at ceremonials quite often. But uh, as I say, there are different bugles all around the world. But the point is, what do we do on this instrument? Well, we're bugling. We're using the harmonic series to create music. So we're bugling on the P bugle. Okay, <clears throat> let's turn our attention to uh, the resources that we've created to support P bugle. Uh, and at the moment we're on our homepage, pbone.co.uk. And I'm gonna take us to our instrument page here. There we go. So we've divided our instruments now into two journeys and you can see straight away at the top of this page we've got this arc of progression through our trumpet products starting with p bugle moving on to p cornet or p trumpet and then if you want to progress further we've got our lovely high tech which has metal and plastic elements and that really is very similar uh, in every way to a metal instrument from the perspective of playing. So we've got a whole journey there from simple through to more complex. And we can see that journey again in trombone. We've got the P buzz, which is a single harmonic, but changes its length through to small and B flat trombones. Okay, but here, we, here today we're talking about P bugle. So let's get on to the P bugle page. So this is the home page for P bugle. There's quite a lot of stuff in here. We have some nice photos. We have some kind of bullet paragraphs. There's some blogs here at the bottom. Carbon neutrality, testing, children using the P bugle in whole class settings. Why did we make the P bugle, etc. Now moving up, here we are. Learn to play. What does this give us? So there's a whole page here that allows you to access our materials for free. And underpinning this page are two downloads, two PDF downloads. You can either print these out or you can use them electronically. And if I show you the Learn to Play book, you'll see how that works. The Learn to Play book, I guess, is analogous to um, a tutor book or, or a kind of, I guess, Outside of music, it'd be, it'd be like a manual. How to get started, how to get some sounds, and how to make some music. So here we are. Here's a download version, PDF, electronic. And as you'll see, um, it covers lots of subjects. We have a nice welcome. Every time you see one of these QR codes, as you can see, my cursor's changing. That's a link to a video or a, or a backing track. And if you printed this off and pointed your smart phone or your tablet device at this it would also take you to the materials so we, we we've talked it's, it's quite a relaxed feel through this book we've talked about how to press make a sound your trumpet journey a little bit about bugling with a demo of bugling here and then there's some kind of what's in the box how to put it together how to look after it 
Now we're on to how to play. And hopefully this covers all the things that we feel are important for playing. And ho sorry, hopefully you agree that these are the important things about playing a brass instrument, about posture, how to hold the instrument, breathing in and blowing out, all supported by videos, some facts, factoids, some games, uh, getting your first buzz, again, blowing your first note, all supported by video. And once we've made a note, uh, we, talk, we can talk about music a little bit here, some of the elements of music. We're going to start with pulse and then duration, note length. And then we're straight in to, um, to playing, playing some notes. Any note will fit with these two tracks, which is quite contemporary in feel, um, focusing on using different lengths of note. And we'll talk a little bit about how, uh, how traditional notation might look for those notes. Now we're going to talk about pitch. So we've got a nice little video of uh, the piccolo trumpet. Uh, we've we talked about the harmonic series and we've got a little demo on the natural trumpet about um, a little bit of a historical context about the trumpet. And then we're on to changing pitch. So we're on to how to move from one harmonic to another, how to control your aperture, how to control your air. And then straight into some listen and copy, some call and response on the same two tracks um, using deliberate pitches, hopefully. So Anthony, our trumpet stick here, is playing some uh, C's and G's and asking your pupils to copy. Simple as that. Hopefully by the end of this, you'll be able to play a couple of notes. You'll certainly be able to play with a nice sound and you'll be able to, uh, you'll be able to join in with some pretty nice funky contemporary music and then alongside that or maybe after that we have six easy tunes which which follow on in the same vein uh, so in actual fact we're going to start off with a piece <clears throat> where all you have to do is play some notes this one lazy summer afternoon and it's pretty hip and cool and it's got a nice nice vibe to it and we've got dancey uh, which is featured in the book as well. Take it easy. We, we're trying to get children to really relax and make a great sound. Anthony's doing some demonstrations on it. Funky reappears. Hopefully we've got a bit more skills now. And we're talking about some, some structure to the music. Then we're on to jazz, the blues. So we, we've written a, a blues. There's a head. You can make your own a head up or there's a head for you to copy. Uh, there's some talk about improvisation. We talk about the structure of this music, how you might want to use it, how you might create different areas creatively. Then lastly is a samba. We are using traditional music here as well as listen and copy. But as you can see, there are uh, there are words to be sung to get the rhythms right. There are demonstrations of singing, clapping and playing each of the rhythms. And after you've finished some work on this, you and your friends or you and a very handy bit of software can start building your own samba, playing, singing, clapping, using instruments, that, percussion instruments that you can make or buy or borrow. So there's lots of creativity there. And at the end, there's a glossary. And we try to include in this glossary um, not just Italian terms and English terms for traditional music, but although they are there, but some more modern terms, MCing, outros, intros, licks and riffs, that kind of thing. So this is all free, all available to support P Bugle. Um, I hope you'll have a chance to have a look at this stuff. It's we, We've spent a lot of time and effort trying to get something fresh, uh, both in terms of the music content, uh, the pedagogy content, but also really underpinning classic brass skills. Great sound great breathing, great relationship between buzz and pitch, and a great relationship between the ear and the note that the, 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 the person is playing. Lastly, of course, it's a springboard. It's a trigger off to playing the trumpet. You've had a great opportunity. It's a low cost point. No damage can be done to the instrument. It's really robust and can be played with like a toy. But if you can engage with it and play some great notes, let's hope the next thing you want to do is move on to playing the trumpet in a more committed way. So, P. Bugle, hopefully the easiest and best way to start your trumpet journey. Thanks for listening. Bye.